Hey everybody, this is John, and I want to show you real quick how to construct these eyes using solar res UV resin. Now these eyes are used on patterns like this um, EP tarantula crab and several other crab patterns and shrimp patterns, and they're really quick and easy to make. All you need is a, beside your solar res and lamp, you need a, a, a big lighter or some kind of flame source and some nippers and a little bit of 50 pound mono. And this is just inexpensive mono that I purchased at Walmart. And I like to take these and cut them about three inches long. The reason is I find it a bit of a hassle to handle this um, mono. So, I cut them a little bit longer than I'm going to need. That way, whenever I'm tying and I trim the excess off, I've already got a bunch of pieces of mono ready to go the next time I want to build a set of shrimp crab eyes. There we go. And that's, that's all you do to get that first step. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my flame source, in this case a Bic lighter. Um, when I'm doing these outside in the garage, I use a alcohol lamp. It's a, a tool used by rod builders for searing off frayed uh, thread. But it makes a black smut, so I don't like to use that in the house. Now, if you saw the, cla uh, the crab claw video and how we burn the tips, we can do the same thing with these. Let me just do that with a couple instead of trying to do all of those. You want to dance the flame onto the end of the mono. Don't just hold it in the flame because what's going to happen is you're going to get that's going to catch on fire and then it burns, it bubbles, and it stinks really bad. And if your wife's down the hall, she's going to tell you, hey, stop doing that. It smells like hell down there. But just take that flame and dance it onto the end of the mono until you get a little bulb. And what that's going to do is it's going to give something for the solar res to grab onto. There we go. Now that's that's quite a few. Now you want to let those cool before you move on, but they only need to cool for a few seconds. Now for this uh, creating the bulb, the large bulb on the end, I'm going to use some Solares Thick Hard that I poured into a little Solo cup. Any kind of really small container that you've got will work just fine. I find this a lot quicker and simpler than doing it um, by squeezing a bubble or a, a big drop out of the end of the bottle. Just take the eye, dip it down into the resin, pull it out, and you'll see it strings, but you'll watch it. It's got such a high viscosity, it pulls back up and creates that perfect round bubble. You see how it strings and then let's go. I'm going to show you that one more time. So don't worry about that stringing out. It's going gonna, it's gonna to just pull right back up into there and give you a bubble. Now once your bubble takes its shape, you want to hold that down because the you want your shrimp eyes to be kind of teardrop shaped. Take your light and from a distance of about 8 to 12 inches, hit it and then just kind of spin that around. And keep your light at a distance and keep spinning your eye. What you don't want to do, I'm going to show you on the next one because it's not optimal, is you don't want to just cook that. Now to to finish curing these, I'm going to take them outside and put them in the sun. You can see I've got a group here that I've already done that with, and we're going to use those for other steps. I just put this, slide it into the top 
of a cardboard box that I've cut the top off of. Just slide it in the little holes there. Now I'm going to show you one of these. I am going to cook that resin. I dipped it in there and I'm, I'm real close and this is going to be an extreme case. And I cooked that and I don't know if you can see it there in the video but it created bubbles and it, it uh, sometimes we'll even misshape them. I'll show you when we color this uh, burnt orange one exactly uh, what I'm talking about. But that eye will be okay. It's just not optimally how I like to do it. I want to follow the instructions on the Solares um, website, which tell you not to cook that from the very beginning. Now, here's one of my eyes that I had uh, created earlier using the process you just saw. And I'm going to make a black eye like you see here. And you see those two are different sizes. You can control the size of the eyes you want. And I'm going to use some Solares Bone Dry Black. And I'm just going to brush it on there. I don't want to get too much. I don't want to create a bubble on there. And you have to remember that this resin cures by light passing through it. So you don't want it to be completely opaque. And this is really, really low viscosity. So I'm going to spin it until that liquid is evenly distributed around the eye. And then I'm going to hit it again from a distance. I'm out at about 8, maybe 10 inches here, shining onto the eye. And I'm just spinning it while I irradiate it. And I'm going to do the same thing with this that I did with the clear and put it in the edge of the cardboard and I'll set that outside in the sunlight to cure completely. Now a little bit different process for a different look and that you've got a black pupil in this one. And you can use any of the Solares colors to do different color pupils. So to get that, I am going to take my bone dry black, dabble that on there just a little bit. And to get a good effect, you have to do it twice on this. So I hit this once. And then dabble that on there again. I want this to be nice and almost completely opaque. Again, I'm hitting that from a distance because if you hit it too close, it's going to cause that bone dry black to bubble up. I cured that. Now I'm going to take my little uh, solo cup here with the thick hard formula. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. Dip it in there. Get a good amount on there. Pull it out. Uh, let me get that. There we go. I want this to be a fairly big eye so you can see that hidden, that uh, pupil inside. Let it get to where you want it and hit it again from a distance. And I'm going to spin it back and forth a little bit. And what that does is it semi-cures it. You can see it's not, it's kind of walking around on there a little bit as I cure it from a distance. Now I'm going to let that sit for a few seconds and let it cool off. And you can see the pupil in there. And it gives a different kind of effect than putting the color on the outside. And there you have that one. Now all you've got to do is put a top coat on that and you've got a nice eye with a pupil on it. Now one more, I want to show you how to do a uh, color. The Solares has a lot of different colors. 
Uh, one that I really like for like an olive crab is a burnt orange. So I use the colored resins in chocolate, brown, and fluorescent orange. And I'm just going to take first the, uh oh, don't worry, these things are nice and thick. Take the fluorescent orange, and like I said, you can see it's pretty thick. Brush that on all sides. Uh, you don't need a lot on there, just a little bit, just enough to color it. And you can see it's very transparent, translucent color. And I'm going to hit that. I didn't get that very even, because I'm kind of in a hurry here. Let's try that again. I'm going to do a different one. So I, you can get a little bit better idea of what I'm actually trying to do. Not all of them come out perfect. There we go. I'm just brushing that on the teardrop eye. Getting a nice, even coating on there, which I did not have on that other one. Again, I'm hitting it from a distance. Not too much. You don't want to cure this completely before you put the next color on there or it won't adhere as well. So, now I'm going to put the chocolate brown on there and you'll see once I hit it that the color is changed. And this is a really good color for uh, a contrast on orange, I mean uh, olive and brown crabs as opposed to the black. The black has a good contrast, but this just kind of stands out a little bit better. And there we go. There we have that burnt orange color. Sorry about that alarm. There we go. Now, this is ready to go. Like I said, in the box, on the edge of the box, let me get that up there for you, and go outside and cure completely. Now, I like to, as a final coat, use Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails. I'll coat these all once they're, um, you know, the colors that I'm looking for and the final uh, eye that I'm looking for. Coat these with the Sally Hansons and put them in the box. Put them in a window so I don't have to smell it and let it uh, let the smell go outside and let those cure for at least two to three hours. I like to let them cure overnight before I tie them into the fly because when you handle them they will the uh, surface will dull a little bit and I like them to be nice and sharp and crisp and clear like they are right now. So there you have it. That is how I build crab shrimp eyes using 50 pound mono and thick hard solar res resin and then using the bone dry black for the black eyes either on the exterior of the eye or as a pupil on the eye or for the orange eye fluorescent orange and chocolate brown. Now there is a, I don't remember how many, but there's like 15, 16 different colors of this colored UV resin. So you can color them up practically any color you want by mixing them in layers the way I did there with the fluorescent orange and chocolate brown. And that is how I make shrimp crab eyes. Uh, take a look at the um, shrimp, uh, what is that, uh, mantis shrimp, and the EP tarantula crab videos. Until then, peace, love, and fly fishing, my friends.